Alright, so, I haven't made a gun video in a while. Um, I got this project going on where uh, I'm trying to duplicate the G-Web special. He uh, took an uh, NF Pardoner 12-gauge shotgun, cut the stock off, three, uh, cut the, the butt stock off by like 3 inches, and cut the barrel to, I think, 19 inches, or 18.5. I uh, sort of want to do the same thing. This gun is older than shit. It, this is the Springfield J. Stevens 12 gauge. Um, this is not the original furniture, but it is the furniture it came with. It's messed up. Whatever. I saw some replacement stocks, but they're too expensive. I mean, just for a chunk of wood, it's like 30 bucks. And it's just a blank... But whatever, it, it's fine. This it shoots fine with what it has on it. Um, I put a couple of lock washers in there for the spacer, so that it would, uh, so that it would meet up properly. Went on. It's still not even, but I don't give a shit. So the shotgun's just older. Than it older and shit but it it shoots real well I haven't put anything high high velocity through it nothing like a double buck or you know like not nothing like double buck or slugs or anything like that just mainly uh, Remington number four buck uh, some birdshot you know tw 28 pellets you know number four buck 28 pellets and uh, 80 pellets, stuff like that. Shoots fine. I mean, it shoots great. Um, I just got this feeling, though, if I shoot a, uh, like some of that PMC high velocity double buck, that it's going to blunderbust, like, right around here, because it narrows down, narrows down, like, so. I'm just waiting for the hacksaw blade I ordered. Eight bucks online. Not bad. Went to Home Depot the other day, and they're like, Ugh, why do you need a hacksaw? What are you cutting? I'm like, how about this? I'm cutting uh, a hardened steel bolt. Uh, what? I don't know. Like, dude. Fucking retards. Um, so these are just Remington number four buck. Shot. The shotgun loves it, can, and uh, ejects them clear, good six feet clear across, clear across the room. This I got at a dollar store. It says camo tape on it, but it's not real camo tape. It's actually just tape that's been painted ca camouflage. It's not that uh. Camo tape the G webs use the grip stuff. See the see the white piece right there? It's actually a backing. Sticky backing. Uh, whatever. I'm not putting much money into the shotgun anyway. I'm saving up to get a pump action. Um Don't worry. Nothing's loaded. And I really don't care if I if it's gets dinged up more. Uh, you can see right here. Why is my camera shaking? I'm not shaking. Uh, there was a chip right here. Not a chip. A splinter. Uh, a sliver. A sliver was popping out and you can stick your finger or a piece of paper underneath it up to like here. Uh, Yankee just said, you know what, pull, just inject wood glue into it. So that's what I did. And I just uh, put a book on top of it for like half a day. I don't really care. You can feel it and it, you can see it. But I, I honestly don't care. As long as the splinter, it's not going to splinter out and break. I don't really care. Because I'm just going to cover it with the tape. Um, the the butt stock for it, or butt pad I should say, it didn't have one. It just had this little that thick piece of plastic and two wood screws and didn't fit so I threw it out it's garbage so what I'm gonna do is put this on it this I was 
going to use this for the Mosin the Gant, but uh, Mosin the Gant's fine the way it is. Um, so this is a shooter, shooter pad, shooter's pad, whatever. Uh, I pull, I accidentally pulled the inserts out by mistake when taking it off. Now I can't get them to fit back in. Whatever. But um, I'm gonna wrap it in tape. Wrap the stock part in tape. Put the pad over it. Wrap it in tape again so that the pad doesn't come off. Then <clears throat> slip on <clears throat> the shotgun shell holder. I was really hoping to get some of that grip tape, but Dollar Store didn't have any. And I'm too lazy to go back to Home Depot. This is fine. I'm going to cover this up as well. Um, the barrel, I don't know. But I do know that once I get the hacksaw blade in, I'm going to cut it to... You know, I'm not going to cut it to 18.5 or 19 inches. I'm going to cut it at exactly 20 inches. Um, just in case, you know. Then I'm going to... With a... With, um, God damn it, I'm stuttering. Ugh. Then, then I'm just going to smooth it out so I make sure that it's even. Um, so yeah, let me, oh, and another thing I did was this little pin right here kept popping out when I... Uh, let me drag. And it won't focus. Uh, come on, you stupid camera. This phone needs updated camera software. Anyway, can you, you see that? that little, that's a little tiny screw. Little tiny screw. And uh, when shooting it, shake it upside down. There's the firing pin. Like I said, I'm, this gun's old as shit. Uh, that firing, that little screw holds the firing pin in place into the little channel. So when shooting it, and the hammer would hit it it would jump up a little and then after a while it popped out the threading on it is just I don't know, the threading's bad so what I did is, uh, don't have any Loctite but then again I don't really give a shit so I just used some uh, wood glue some wood glue and screwed it in not too tight, not too much, just where it's flush and then put a dab of wood glue over it and just took my finger, smeared it now it doesn't come loose I mean, I can I can break it loose. I just don't want to. I'm also going to cover that up with some tape. And um, this is just a project, by the way. This is not, you know, this is not one of my primary firearms. It's just a project. Because I'm bored. Bored. My father was a fiend and a drinker. And now he goes crazier than usual. No, I'm not going to do that. So, yeah, this is the project I'm going to do. Sorry. Alright, so, it, it took a couple minutes. This tape was garbage. It was only, like, a dollar fifty. The tax, I think it was, like, three bucks. It's garbage. Uh, I tried my best getting it to wrap around, but... It kept leaving, uh, it didn't go so well. I don't give a shit. See what I mean? It didn't go over so well. Here, here, there, there's ears sticking off. Here, a bunch of them. Even the, the stock part. It just, it's cheap tape. I don't really care. But, um, it, it feels good. It feels alright. What I'm going to do is get some, uh, super glue. That I have in the other room, and like put a dab underneath it and just press it down so that it doesn't stick up. And there's a bunch of little ones here, here, whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is oh, uh, this is the new, this is the butt pad. Um, feels nice, feels all right, you know. Doesn't hurt. Like sharp wood edges, doesn't feel like that anymore. Just Feels like an actual butt pad. 
Um, this piece, again, it didn't go over so well, and I ran out of tape. There, there was only a few feet of tape. It said that there was going to be ten feet of tape on the... But it was more like maybe five and a half to six. Not even. So, uh, I had to cut some pieces up. Some pieces don't want to smooth out. I poked a hole right there. I can put the screw in. So, um... Yeah, I can't do this one-handed. Hold on. Sorry about that. So, this is what it looks like. I know it's not nice, but whatever. I like it. And, uh... I don't give a shit about the tile. It's all messed up anyway. There's the screw. I was going to take a file and clean the screw up. <laughs> clean the screw up. <laughs> I was going to take a file and smooth it out. But I said, no, I don't want to fuck with it. Yeah, um, 20 inches, I think, is about right here. Um, maybe here. I don't know. I don't have a tape measure. I, all my tools are, are eventually get stolen by my stepdad. But chop it off like 20 inches, and then I'll then I'll uh, recrown it with some sandpaper or whatever, smooth out, uh, and then I'll try double buck some of the and maybe a few uh, rifled slugs, something like that. I like it. Now what the hell? Why? All right, I'm holding perfectly still, and the camera's still shaking. Uh, I'm gonna connect it to the computer and see if there's any updates available for the software. But uh, I like it; looks good. And this is just a J. Stevens Springfield J. Stevens single shot. Oh, Harper, thank you. Let me turn it over. See, there's a piece of tape missing right there. Um, it kept doing this. Yes, there's my foot. Say hello, foot. Hello. And uh, there it is again. And that's it. Just, just a bullshit video.